Hello and welcome to tutorial number five. My name is Eamon Killian and I'm making a series of tutorials on how to get started using software. Uh, so far in the previous tutorials we've got through registering for the first time, uh, logging into a virtual machine, um, starting up a web server on that virtual machine, installing and starting it, um, moving over a file or lots of files uh, using secure copy um, to our web server and then seeing that we can actually see those files on the web server. And then finally in tutorial 4 we finished off with redirecting a domain name that we had bought uh, or that I had bought previously from GoDaddy to our actual software virtual machine. So we've done an awful lot of patchy things to get started to see how things flow and it was all on this uh, sassify one uh, softwarecom uh, virtual machine here. So what I want to do today is to basically restart and to start things off again in a different format. Um, try and actually show suit to nuts how to install a server and deliver all of the services that you want to deliver. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to cancel this machine. So when you cancel a machine you get this sort of thing from uh, software saying you sure you want to do this immediately etc. I'm going to press continue and then it asks you to acknowledge that you're going to lose your data as well. So I'm quite happy to lose that so I'm going to cancel the device. And that is how in software from the customer portal you can actually switch off a device, get rid of a device. Um, you can see here I've got a confirmation me message which is actually a ticket which has been raised um, to actually remove that device. Now if I refresh the page I have no devices or I won't do soon so that will take a few minutes for that to take effect so what I want to do is start from scratch I want to actually create a new device and get going with a new device so to add a new device within software and um, within the customer portal you would normally think well I can just go to devices and add a device um, and it's not quite there so what you actually want to do is place an order and in place an order the very first choice is devices and for this one I'm going to choose an hourly virtual server takes a couple of seconds and that'll come up. Oh, I see my pop-ups blocked, so I want to always allow. So let's go again, place an order, devices, hourly. Then I should get the pop-up, there it is, and I'll drag it into our window here. So I've got to log on again. So there we go, I'm logged in again, so I want one virtual server, I'm going to put it in Amsterdam again, 1-2 gigahertz, a gigabyte of RAM, now you get several options in here. Um, as we saw before, so I'm going to choose a minimal install so I get a nice clean machine. You can choose a Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP install. Um, I'm going to choose the minimal because what I'm going to be going through is actually installing all those packages, Apache, MySQL and PHP, yourself. And that's pretty much it. System add-ons, none of those. Storage, I'm quite happy with the 25 it's already got. Just check my storage again. Yep, 
yeah, I don't want any add-on. So I confirm my order. There we go. It gives me a list of all my options. And now I've got to choose whether I have a provisioning script, which I don't in this instance, and my host name. So again, I'm going to call it, uh, this time I'm going to call it Sassify2. I'm still going to use the uh, softlayer.com. Um, I've got no promotion code. If I recalculate, it asks me for that again. So be, be aware of that. It'll ask me for this information again if I recalculate. And that's it. I'm going to add that server. Oh, sorry, this was adding another server. I'm going to go back there. I want to have this server. I agree. Finalize. As I said, it removes the, uh, the host name if you navigate away from the page, finalize the order. Right, so that's it. There's my receipt. That'll be emailed to me anyway. And that's the machine I'm going to get. So I can now kill this. And if I refresh this page, there's Sassify 2 being created. Sassify 1 is going. So we'll return to this video when the machine is actually up and running, which should only take about you know, five, six minutes for a virtual machine to be created and it'll be available to us.